Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail, and today we are spectating scrolls where we're looking at a match between Magpie Man and Dirt 1975. This is a judgment matchup. Like I said, I do want to be looking into a little bit more judgment matches as time goes on. And yes, I will be doing another judgment series before long. I kind of did burn myself out on judgment just a little bit, chain running it for a few weeks. So I kind of want to get away from that and get back to it as I get actually interesting that you get challenge overlays here in the middle of spectating. I did not know that would be the case. But there we go. Poor King Kiwi. You've been sending me challenges all the time lately. And you always pick while I'm recording. So if you're watching, sorry, I'm recording right now. What do we got here? Durd with the crown of strength and language. So this winged soldier is kind of feeling strong, kind of feeling lazy. Not too much you can do about that other than just say focus and bye bye blight bear. Unfortunately, that means that this winged soldier is going to be poisoned and effectively have one health. But still, that is a creature down. Magpieman, wow, this is a uh, this is a judgment match, I promise, but he has what looks like a pretty decent draft here. At least it looks like he's going primarily to decay here. Meanwhile, Dirt going for the standard sort of uh, weenie uh, order, de or order growth, which is a very viable and pretty easy to draft strategy in this matchup. So Leeching Ring as well for the Wing Soldier. That's one way to help survive a poison here. But oh my god, Magpieman. How many poisons are you going to get? I mean, it's one thing. Uh, Magpieman is a, one of the top rated players in the game right now. Dirt, not as much. Still pretty well rated. But Magpieman's constantly near the top. He's one of the first people to race up the ladder after the reset. And I don't know, maybe to the very skilled. Maybe he's a more skilled drafter than me. But certainly drawing two Infectious Blights and drawing all this decay right here is definitely some good fortune because this is, and I double checked before I clicked it, a judgment match and he has an Omar Hunter, two Infectious Blights, that's a bunch of rares that are all decays, but there's the Life Stealer, which is going to be nice because this, that negates spiky damage. Dirt getting a Binding Root, which is awesome to play against a Harvester, but he really should probably not top deck into using that for the Harvester. Which, once again, I'm looking at uh, Magpieman's deck and saying, what the F? He has a Harvester. All of his rares are decay rares. But Dirt got to be a little disappointed that that's what he drew. But the Leeching Ring is going to save that Wing Soldier. So he is no longer in Soul Steel range. What in the hell? Maybe the game is telling me incorrectly about whether this is Judgment or not. Because Magpie has just had the uh, draft from heaven here. But no... Dark Strike and Inferno Blast tells me that this is Judgment, and now multiple poisons on this guy means that the Leeching Ring may not help in time. I do think uh, it's he's going to survive at least the other turn here because I'm pretty sure uh, this. Well, no, this poison isn't going to go off till next turn, so the Leeching Ring will be useless or not as useful. And now it's just a matter of what does Dirt want to do. There's an Infectious Blight that's going to be rolling around. Infectious Blight, if you can get them going, is very devastating against Order. And is very devastating against decks that like to play a lot of creatures like this one. So, Dirt probably would have loved to have kept the Binding Root on the bottom. And sometimes against Harvesters like this, it is a good idea to just sacrifice one idol for the greater good. The greater good. But, here today at least... Dirt having to work with what he can, and he does have a purification available, so purification somehow killed? I do not understand what just happened there. Oh, of course, there we go. Purification killed that wings guy, because the only thing that was keeping him alive at that point was the crown of strength. So without the crown of strength, kaput. He's gone. So that's kind of the double-edged sword. Purification removes all enchantments, not just unfriendly enchantments. And I'm looking at the spectate one. Not the match. Dirt saying that was stupid because, well, you know what? You get in the heat of the match, and I thought, oh, purification, that's great. Nope, not great. So, plenty of good options available here. No Dark Strike right now, but that Wing Shield is gone. Kaput. Owie. Decimation. Not really going to save Dirt right now. Be yeah, a little bit of a misplay. Could get him in a lot of trouble here, especially with these four or five creatures. Life stealers are kind of the uh, step, the white-haired stepchild, I think, of decay a little bit because they are so good. They are a four or five creature with two cooldown that if you can just get them to attack, they will heal themselves. They're very self-sufficient. But on the other hand, they're five resources, and at least in some decks, they are pretty damn hard to play. So Magpieman getting a Copper Automaton here, and he could Iron Whip the Copper Automaton. Uh, no, he can't because he doesn't have the resources. But in theory, he could Iron Whip the Copper Automaton and take out the Spearman. But instead, 
how many Ilmar hunters do you need in this deck? Just one, maybe. And there is a Copper Tomtom as well, so that is going to put some serious pressure on the board right here. And pretty much Durd has marked the rest of his creatures for death at this point. So, sorry dude. At this point, he can actually clear that entire row between his life stealers and everything else. And he's going to have to put up something to fix it, and I don't know if he does. Blood Boil, will that save him? Uh, takes any damage, increase the unit's attack by two? No, it won't. So trying to get everything moved up here, that's actually making it a little bit easier. Magpie is going to be able to clear the board next turn, no problem. And at least in terms of this draft right here, it looks like it looks like Dirt does not have a terrible deck. Having a bunch of skirmishers, having a bunch of relentless units is really nice. But Magpieman just has the most amazing judgment draft I've seen in quite some time. But let's see here. All he has to do is move up the Harvester and uh, move the Life Stealer up one way or the other. And he can take out this entire row. And that's that's and he can also he can even drop a loyal darkling up one more just to protect. No, he's actually gonna elect to take out most of the row, but not all of the row. So one skirmisher is actually gonna be able to go off to attack. I don't know if I entirely agree with this move, but there's plenty of good reasons to do it this way. Oh, because he has the iron whip. That's why Magpieman is so much better than me at this game. Just looking at his hand, using the Slayer ability, and that is a full board clear. So, derp on my part. That's why I'm sitting here talking instead of jumping in there playing. No, that's not true. I do play this game quite a bit, but apparently for some reason I forget what Iron Whip does, even though I just said what it did last turn. So, Dirt, that has got to be demoralizing. You have a Harvester down your throat and your board has just been cleared. What are you going to do now? You're going to Decimate, at least try and put some damage down. That's a good start. Ducal Infantryman up in the corner. So, Dirt is just going to try and reestablish his board, but once again, Magpie. And here we go, and Sindri's and Tick Bomb, those are total, uh, those are total judgment cards here. Magpie just, this is the draft of his life, I guess, I don't know. Uh, I guess any time now and then you get a draft that's just exceptionally good. There's usually some deck out there that'll beat it, or some draw that'll beat it. It's really hard to get five wins. But this is a deck that looks like it could do it, or at least the early draw is really saving Magpie. But at this point, Dirt, I don't know if he has a lot of comeback cards here. Druid Burial Ground is nice. He just has to have the resources out to get it. And unfortunately, when he would like to be sacrificing for resources, he's still stuck, stuck sacrificing for cards. And I know that's where some people put in the rule that maybe they don't like to draft things if they cost more than two resources. But I think three, so three resources or four resources is a pretty reasonable limit. So once again, it can... Dirt clear the board here, or is he just going to go for clearing out an idol and trying to make some things work? He could play Bloodline Taint and do it. That only affects opponents. Does he want to use it on just two creatures? I don't know. But those are both soldier units, and he can take them both out. But he's going to play the Monstrosity instead because it's cute with its teeth like that. So no additional board clears right now. But still, staying definitely ahead in the tempo game. So don't need two Druid Barrel Grounds. He's just sacrificing for scrolls, looking for something that's going to save him. Sister of the Bear, Magnetizer. Magnetizer is a great way to lock down certain cards. Magnetizer, now an uncommon instead of a common. But, yeah, this is this is just not enough right now. Dirt struggling to hang on as much as he can, but you can already kind of feel the momentum going uh, Magpieman's way. If you haven't already, you are now. Like I said, he's a... Uh, he is a good, good skilled scrolls player here. So what do we get? It could be a uh, any number of options that are here right now. He could drop a rod eater and let the monstrosity die. That could be a fun play. Bloodline Tain is probably going to come into play next turn, if especially if Dirt drops a few more uh, soldiers on the board. I don't think the Sister of the Bears are affected by that, but like I said, we're in round 13 and Dirt is still stuck on 5 order and 1 growth. That is not where you want to be, not with the kind of deck that he's constructed. So kind of a tough, tough cookies situation right here. Two Rod Eaters. Not just one, but two. So yeah, this, this board is definitely under Magpieman's control. And just going to wait and see. Dirt, dirt having Callback. Callback would have been a great card to save his Wings Soldier. 
But I, that misplay, and I guess you have to call it a misplay because you have to remember what Purification does at the beginning with the Winged Soldier, really setting my Magpie and back. But the just the draws that are not saying Magpie and back, setting Dirt back, but the draws Magpie and have and the draft Magpie and has had. Just really, I'm not sure if Dirt's deck can really compete with this kind of deck. And that's where judgment goes sometimes. Sometimes your deck is just so good and someone else's is just so much better. And there's very little you can do about it. So I expect a Magnetizer to come down as well in some way, shape, or form. I think Dirt is just trying to figure out what he wants to buff or how he wants to buff. So what's it going to be? He's protecting one of his idols, so that is the sacrifice, Sacrificial Shieldman right now. Because this is totally exposed to the Slayer damage right here. Which just makes me think of uh, Happy Little Metal Bands. And oh my god, Supercharged as well. And just think about this for a second. Supercharged, beginning of each turn, a chance owner turns, attacks a unit, range, attack, dealing one damage. Supercharged on a Slayer unit. I want you to contemplate that for a little bit. And tell me what you think. So, I'm sorry, Super Supercharged on a Slayer unit is just too hilarious to me. It's like, it's about as good as Supercharged on a Siege Cracker, actually, but there we go. It's I don't think it's going to matter as much as this point, because that should be the game right there. That is enough idle damage. That's Magpieman getting the idle damage that he needs, and Durd, you fought valiantly, but unfortunately, you got steamrolled by a much better deck. And there's some some matches, you just have to throw your hands up and say, ah, there's not much I could do. But still, this is scrolled judgment, and uh, just spectating the matches, you know, sometimes, you don't always know what you're going to get. When there are replays available, I can kind of cherry pick and say, hey, this is a great match, this is an interesting match. This is kind of what the uh, matches are about, but unfortunately, since there hasn't been a... Uh, sufficient replay mod where I can actually look at games that have already been played from the past. This is kind of where we're at right now. Sometimes you watch a game between two very good players and it goes out for 40 turns and it's amazing and there's explosions of fireworks and sometimes, more often than not, you get one person who gets a really big advantage early and there's just no looking back. So this is one of those kind of games. Still well played by both players as much as the circumstances could permit. But this is Way to Fail. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more Scrolls content, feel free to subscribe and otherwise like or comment on this. I'd love to hear you free, your feedback on this video in general. But that's it for now. I will see you all next time.